course, the tragic death early in the week of Olivia Newton-John. I really like the career males. We honestly loved you. Here's, here's a sample of some of those. Uh, look, um, Christy, what are your memories of, of Olivia Newton-John? Look, Gleeson, so it might surprise you, but I'm actually past the demographic of Olivia Newton-John's heyday. But God, wasn't she a such a fabulous Australian pioneer? Without Olivia, mm. there wouldn't have been Kylie, uh, and there probably wouldn't have been that great image uh, that Australia and Australian tourism has been able to put forward to the world of that beautiful, magnificent, gorgeous, youthful, fantastic Australian girl that went and conquered uh, the USA and the European markets yeah. and people just loved her. So we have a lot to thank her for. She was before the Le influencer, the great influencer. I know. And Lisa, you know, a real national treasure, a real trailblazer, as Christy said. Yeah, and look, I can tell you that Apart from when the news broke that Princess Diana had been killed, uh, this is the, the next one that's actually left me gasping when I realised this in the morning when someone mentioned the news to me that we'd, we'd lost her. She was an absolutely beautiful person and I'd interviewed her during my time in Los Angeles. But, you know, for me, I grew up with the, with Greece and we all wanted to be Sandy D. and, you know, not to mention mm. the fact that I was one of those people that thought physical was all about aerobics and not perhaps something else. So, <laughs> look, I think it's, it's, an, it's an incredible loss for Australia.